Yeah, yeah. See? See that? What? Yeah. That's what they made. Oh, Here's yeah. soup for the, the one Henry had was soup for the for baking. Yeah. If you want to find out the whole story, you just have to start from the beginning and read the rest of the book. Yeah. So, to prove it to you, Dad, what do we get as a plate? I don't know, mate. I'm already having my ice cream. Oh, yeah. One's already fallen out. No, thank you. Not having that. Or you can even unwrap yours. I'll unwrap mine. George Beard and Harold Cutchin. Hey, Dad! Do, 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 do. Do you like one, Dad? No. And stay, stay back. Dave Pilkey. It wasn't really made by George Beard and Harold Cutchins. In the book set, they actually fight giant robot boogers. What? Giant robot booger yeah. monsters. What? what are giant? What giant robot boogers? Giant robot robot booger monsters. Where? Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the bionic booger thing. That is a pea thing. It, it was water and peas. Super villain, Dad. What super villain? Any in the book. Yeah. In this book. Yeah. Um. He he's a mad scientist. Well, an inventor. A mad inventor he invents machines to help him steal stuff. And he invented a liquidator, which turns things into water. And he accidentally got turned into water, but he was still alive. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, but he didn't pay the bills, so his talking cat, Petey, uh, drank him because of how thirsty he was, and he got turned into pee. Yeah, well, he did. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Dr. Dilbert Dinkle started his career as an ordinary, everyday, evil genius, inventor, bank robber. Mm -hmm. The Liquid Eighters, 2000. Mm -hmm. he, he tied Petey, his talking cat, to the Liquid Eighter 2000. And then he, he said, let me just take a few minimum. Measurements. Measurements. Whatever you do, don't press that button. I mean, whatever you do, don't pull that lever. Uh, what? What lever? lever? <laughs> and then like, and then zap! I got, I, I got turned into water. You're stupid! And then smack! Right, you broke my liquid eight a zip two thousand. Mm. Hello. Mm. The very thing. And here, and here's you stupid crash, you idiot! You broke my liquid Atar Zoo two thousand. Now I can never change back into him. Can we go now? No way! We came here to rob this bank, and I'm not living without my cash. Right. Hmm. I know what to do. Since I'm made out of water, I'll flap myself inside on the little He robs the bank by sliding under the door. Oh dad, you wanna see what the lock looks like? Yeah. It's just a hook. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. It's just 
the book when he gets inside. Could I please have some? I wonder what sort of alarm they set off. Yeah. Probably somebody shouting, help, help. <laughs> And here's where they live there. Oh yeah, on top of a wave. Hill. And yeah. it's and it's um, it says Lair of Evil. Mm -hmm. When they go to the diaper depot, he's like, Ho ho, being evil rules. I'm making a ton of money. Hey, I heard that. This is my money, not yours. Too bad, Dip Ward, I'm taking it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> if you've read The Grinch Stole, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, I think the Grinch lives on a hill that looks like that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Seuss's art style makes hills and things curl like waves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Dr. Seuss does. Yeah. What? I don't know. He's, still, he's dead, though, but his, in his yeah. books, his drawings, the hills look like waves. They mm. curl in the moon. In the movie, in our video we have, the cat in the hat sticks the fishbowl on a tall tower of bubbles, like that. Mm. And in the book, he just stacks up furniture on his umbrella and holds it up like this. Mm -hmm. Stop this. The art style. Yeah. And at the beginning of the book, the kids were forced to read How the Grinch Stole Christmas to inspire them to write about other things than poo. Yeah, and also, Dad, what was I talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you don't remember, like, I think you were talking about the creation of the universe. Yeah, he like just is silly. He he lives on a hill, but guess what? Mm -hmm. Um, when uh, yeah, um, here we go. How the peas stole potties by Dr. George and Dr. Harold. Mm -hmm. And then, like, <laughs> they take all the potties out. There's not many, I don't think there's actually many uh, spelling mistakes in the novels uh, than in the books. Like, the only one I could find is this one, which says cuz, not because, or cause. Oh, that's just an Americanism. It's not a mis to them, it's not a mistake. Yeah, there's two pages. Well, it's not an Americanism, it's just um, Negro. Yeah. Just, um, when they're not Negroes. Yeah. Uh, the uh, disaffected black youth. Yeah, yeah. feeling dreary and dreary. They spelt those, right? Mm. Those jerks. Ah, here we go. 